向往的远方，精彩的世界，有多少人想要？又有多少人敢要？ Good morning, guys. I'm Gaurav, and you're watching Gaurav Explores. Welcome to another video, guys. In this video, I will be talking a bit about the DJI Mavic Mini One and the Mini Two, and about my previous videos in which I explained why DJI Mini Two will not be able to fly over 15 meters in India, and a bit about the confusion. A lot of people were confused that you know uh, they said that the testing is fake. You don't own a DJI Mini Two. Yes, guys, I don't own a DJI Mini Two, but my testing was very, very, very relevant. and i actually proved that the dji mini 2 will not be able to fly over 15 meters in india so guys uh, i'll be clearing that out also i will be talking a bit about the alternative app that is lichi what kind of upgrades and features we are getting and recently the app got updated so what's improved in that also guys i will be talking a bit about the drone scenario in india why this 15 meter height limit kicked in and what is really happening guys so stay tuned and also guys if you are uh, interested in all drone related content uh, uh bi bicycle vlogs and also do subscribe to my channel guys so friends let's first start with the drone scenario in india as we all know drone scenario in india is pretty complicated and it's really hard to register a drone here as the primary thing that the agency want is that drone should be npnt compatible that is no permission no take off compatible so all that is very very complicated we don't really have any drones that are npnt compatible at least the manufacturers that i have been hearing about and everyone knows about let's say dji autel fimi hubson all those ma major manufacturers of the drones they don't make npnt compatible drones so if you don't have an npnt compatible drone you just cannot register a drone here in india and i'm talking about the nano and the micro class that is nano is under 250 grams and the micro is over 250 grams till the 2 kg class so all the major drones that we use lie under that category only then guys what happened we had the dji launched the dji mavic mini 1 so this nano category went hot and this was selling in huge numbers everywhere throughout the world it was selling in huge numbers and mavic mini 1 is a very very popular drone you it's uh, it's like you know a perfect drone to carry around with i mean this is something you know fly you can fly every day everywhere and you can go get great results so what happened was dji was not selling all those drones legally in india because it was not npnt compatible and also the height limit that the dgca set for the nano drones was like because for nano drones you don't need a permission to fly but the condition was that nano drones could be fly uh, could be flown only till 50 feet or 15 meters in india without permission beyond that you will have to take the license the drone has to be registered and all those things so basically this 15 meter or 50 feet condition was there already but now what happened DJI know that uh, knew that all those drones are selling in India through grey channel and uh, illegal imports DJI wanted to launch their drone in India so they had to comply with the indian laws so if you would note that if you put your rth or the maximum altitude over 15 meters it says that you have to agree with the local laws and all so that kind of notification was already there i am talking about the app Uh, uh, all the app updates that were before the 5th of november then what happened on 5th of november dji mini 2 was launched and also the same day they launched the app for the dji mini 2 so the support for the dji mini 2 began from the 5th of november that is from the app update of 1.2.0 that was launched on the 5th of november i am saying again guys on 5th of november dji mini 2 was launched and on the 5th of november they launched an app update 1.2.0 from which the support of dji mini 2 was there before that you just cannot fly the mini 2 also guys if you are thinking that you can fly your dji mini 2 in india with the previous version of the app you cannot because if you know 
the DJI Mini 2 was, you know, got accidentally sold before the 5th of November to a few, uh, to some of the uh, to some of the guys, but they could not fly it until uh, unless the app was launched on 5th of November. So that is one thing you cannot fly DJI Mini 2 with the previous version of the apps. Secondly, guys. The testing I did was I uh, I had two phones in one device I had the older version of the app that was uh, 1.1.9 or something that was the older version of the app that was launched either it was the 23rd October version or the September version so I had the older version of the app on the second device I had the latest latest version of the app that supported the DJI Mini 2 from where because you know I accidentally updated the app and I later realized that my Mavic Mini just cannot go beyond 15 meters. So that was kind of a shocker for me uh, because at RTH, I want it over 15 meters. Otherwise, you know, I'll just bump into some building or any telephone tower or anything, any tree. So that was a very, you know, very big thing for me. Then what happened? If you would uh, go back to my previous video, I'll put the link of the video in the description. What I did was, in one phone I had the older app and in one phone I had the latest app. I flew the drone with the latest app. What happened? I took off without the GPS. I took off without the GPS and there was no limits. I could fly till 100 meters, 200 meters, 500 meters. But as soon as the drone got the GPS, all the limits got kicked in. My drone got restricted below 15 meters. That's it and you're done. So whether you are flying the DJI Mini 1 on the latest app or you are flying the DJI Mini 2 on the latest app on 1.2.0 and the versions after that, you will not be able to fly your DJI Mini 1 and Mini 2 above 15 meters. That's it guys. So that testing was very relevant to what I wanted to tell you that DJI Mini 2 will not be able to fly over 15 meters in India. So that is one thing guys. Another doubt that a lot of you guys had was whether or not you can use fake app, uh, fake GPS and then you know make your DJI Mini 2 fly over 15 meters in India. Guys in my previous video I used a fake GPS app in which I portrayed my location to Boston in US but even that didn't work. As I mentioned as soon as the uh, drone got the GPS, all the limits got kicked in and you can just you just cannot do anything about that. So that's it guys, DJI Mini 2 will not be able to fly over 15 meters in India, whether you use fake GPS or anything else. Friends, uh, we all know that DJI Mini 1 and Mini 2 will not be flying over 15 meters in India through the DJI Fly app. So we better start looking for the alternatives. So. For a lot of people who knew that, you know, rolling back to the older app could solve the issue, they did that. But there are a lot of people who just don't want to go to the old, uh, older app and they want to stick around with the newer ver latest version of the app. So that's their wish, you know, it's okay. It's, uh, it's in fact, you know, safer to be the latest uh, with the latest version of the app. Also, guys, we all know that DJI fo forces you to uh, do the updates and all so you never know where, till when we can fly our older DJI Mini 1 till I mean the way we do we the way we have been so we there is no timeline because DJI can deliver an update anytime a forced update any day anytime and everything will get stuck under 15 meters for the older Mini as well then guys then come the alternatives the best alternative uh, for the DJI Fly app that I came across was the Lychee app. It's an amazing app. They have a lot of options. They are still developing it. It's still in the beta mode. They have the waypoints. They have Orbis. They have follow me. They have panoramas. They have the focus mode, which is absolutely stellar. I absolutely loved it. And uh, I tested it. What happened was the Lychee app corresponds with the similar limits that you have in the DJI Fly app. If you have the latest version of the DJI Fly app that launched after 5th of November, then the limits will correspond to that app only. That is the 15 meters. And in case you have the older older app on your phone, then you will have uh, the, you know, you can fly over 15 meters as well. You can keep your RTH over 15 meters. So that's one thing, guys. Secondly, guys, I my impression was that I uh, there was no way to fly a DJI Mini 1 
without the GoFly app, uh, without the GoFly app on your phone. Uh, also, while having the Lychee on it, because Lychee is somehow dependent on the DJI Fly app, I could not calibrate my Mavic Mini One with the uh, with your Lychee app. That is one thing, guys. Uh, I couldn't find that option. Somebody uh, wrote in the comments that uh, that option is still there. I'll still, you know, I'll try and figure that out again. And also, I'll be testing whether or not I can fly. Uh, my Mavic Mini without the DJI Fly app. I, I will uninstall the DJI Fly app. I'll only keep the Lychee app on my phone and then see what kind of results I get. Whether or not the limits and everything get kicked in or not. So that I will be doing. So subscribe to my channel. Press that bell icon so that you know you can get the, all the updates that I, I'll be posting. Also guys, uh, what I'll be doing is I'll be doing some multiple testing because the Lychee app has been updated and upgraded recently, a few days back only, and they have improved the follow me mode. So I'll be testing uh, that again and posting a review of that mode, how well it is now and uh, what kind of results we can expect from that, guys. So guys, uh, stay, in uh, stay in touch, keep safe, and uh, we'll see you in another video.